introduce Bill Whalen, um, who is the director of DC 37's Municipal Employees Legal Services Program. Uh, DC 37 MELS uh, partners with us on the Frontline Healthcare Workers Initiative. DC 37 is New York City's largest public employee union, and its members are really the lifeblood of New York City. Uh, they work in our schools, they work in our hospitals, in our parks, and really in almost every facet of New York City life. Uh, partnering with DC 37 MELS on this initiative has allowed us to serve dozens of families who are putting themselves at risk in frontline jobs during this pandemic. So, Bill, on to you. Hi, good morning, everybody. And I want to thank all the pro bono attorneys who really have uh, stood up for our members. It's meant a lot to the DC 37 uh, workers. So a little bit about DC 37, we're 150,000 workers, 63 different locals. Now 9,000 of these workers work in municipal hospitals. Another 24,000 of them work in public schools. 4,500 of them are EMT, emergency medical technicians who respond to people's homes and brought them to the emergency rooms as they were suffering from COVID. Thousands more work for the city's health department, nurses, epi epidemiologists, road, tunnel, bridge workers, lifeguards, parkies, daycare, Head Start, Adult Protective Services, Agency for Children's Services, Homeless Services. These are people who were essential workers who were out on the street serving New York during this whole pandemic. They had no option to work at home. They were out there, just, just out there. One of the things, you know, we talk about frontline one of the things that's important to realize about DC 37 members is that they're in the front line of life always. They have no cushion. This pandemic was just another hardship in their life. The average salary for my members is $37,000 a year. They have no options. They live in communities of color, which were just devastated by the pandemic. And th that's really, it was very, very difficult. In the beginning of the pandemic, um, you know, we had to do, we have a death benefit, which pays out death benefits for retirees and, and members who pass away. So we had, to, I had to do virtual notaries of the death benefit applications. Every day I spoke to maybe a dozen survivors of city workers and retirees. And the stories, these are people who lost their loved ones, unable to be with them. They died all alone in hospitals. A father who lost his 35-year-old son, his only child. A girl who lost, a woman who lost her mother. She was 21 years old. She's left with siblings, had to bury her mother. She knows nothing about any of this. The stories were just horrific. So Mel's, what Mel's is, is the legal services organ, office for, for union members. We have 120 lawyers. Our, we have a unit that does wills, and we have four, four lawyers and a supervisor. And that's all the people that we really have dedicated to wills. And many of our members were looking to get their affairs in order. They were terrified. We had school workers who were doing the grab and go lunches and uh, school, uh, lunch workers who had to show up. People in hospitals, they wanted powers of attorney. They wanted wills. We were inundated with requests for assistance and we really couldn't do it on our own. And thankfully, Vols partnered with us and were able to provide these life planning documents to our members. Um, so we're very, very grateful for what, for what the pro bono attorneys have done to help us. Our members face many, many challenges. I think in the next six months, I think that's a question that, that, that Peter was asking. In the next six months, what we face is an onslaught of evictions as the courts open up. Our members, they make $37,000 a year and they live in the city of New York. Their average paychecks, it takes a paycheck and a half. They get two paychecks a month. It's a paycheck and a half just to pay your rent. Tremendous hardship. The mental health of our members, the stress that they're under. was the schools reopened, our schools division was inundated with, with members who were terrified about having to having to show up into unventilated buildings. So our job in the next six months is to, is to stand by our members as evictions ramp up, as foreclosures start, as their mental health deteriorates. 
Our screening unit gets 3,000 calls a month from city workers who are looking for MELS to help them. So again, I wanted to thank you guys for stepping up and helping us as we help the city of New York and its residents. And uh, that's it. Thanks so much, Bill. And it has really been a pleasure to partner with you on this project and to help your members who, who like I said, are the lifeblood of our city. So, so thank you for the work that you do every day. Um, so uh, 